Welcome to my channel. I am Ben, the business analyst expert. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can finance e-commerce business if you do not have the required capital. Before we start, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and click the bell icon to be notified for future videos. E-commerce is one of the fastest growing industries out there and is not going anywhere. People are always going to buy stuff online, whether you're doing drop shipping or you're selling your own inventory. There are a lot of money to be made. There's also no limit on how much money you will make. It doesn't matter if you want to make 10,000 plus a month or just save that money for a rainy day. You'll be able to achieve whatever financial targets you have for yourself as long as you manage your e-commerce company effectively. After three years, the average gross income for these e-commerce businesses is just over 6.5 million. So there you have it. A new e-commerce enterprise should hope to produce just under 39,000 in sales in the first month and 6.5 million in gross revenue after three years. To get your e-commerce business going, all you need is decent traffic on your website. You can generate traffic through various marketing strategies, which are all pay per click marketing, email marketing, social media marketing, search engine marketing, and low cost marketing channels. You may use content marketing as a low cost marketing tool to drive traffic to your online store. To improve your organic search rankings and brand authority, you can build a blog and post information SEO content relevant to your brands. In this video, I will give you three options you can use to finance your e-commerce business if you do not have the required startup capital. Before you consider applying for any type of loan as a startup, you need to make sure that you have a good credit score. The credit score is the main criteria for any startup looking to apply for a loan unless you are willing to use the equity on your home as collateral to get a loan. You need to have at least 680 plus credit score. I placed the link in the description below of a company that can help you boost your score to 700 if you do not meet the credit score requirement. The number one option is the term loan. With this option, you don't even need to have a business to apply. The main requirement is your credit score and your income. You need to have a minimum of 680 credit score and you need to provide a proof of income. Documents that can be used as proof of income include your W-2s, your tax returns, or your pay stubs. You can qualify for up to $300,000. This option also allows you to use a cosigner in case you do not have a good score. A cosigner is a friend or relative with 680 plus score that is willing to cosign your application. I place a link in the description below for people looking to apply for the term loan. The second loan option will be the business line of credit. This option is good for people that do not have any proof of income. You're required to have a registered business when applying for the business line of credit. You're also required to have a good credit score, at least 680 plus. You can qualify for up to $150,000 business line of credit. I place a link in the description below for people looking to apply for a business line of credit. Another option is to apply for equipment financing. Equipment financing loans are among the top loan program for people looking to buy new or used equipment for their business. In fact, this type of loan comes with borrower friendly repayment terms in most situations. These loans do not require external collateral as the equipment itself serves the purpose. This means that the bank can repossess your equipment if you stop making payments on the loan. Because of this, these types of loans are typically easier to obtain because there's a safety net of sorts for the lender. A startup can qualify for up to $50,000. Experienced businesses can get a lot more than that. Most equipment financing loans require putting down 10 to 20% of the equipment cost. I place a link in the description below for people looking to apply for equipment financing. So guys, this completes a list of three loan options you can use to finance any new business venture. The good news is that you can apply for all these three options simultaneously and get the maximum loan amount possible. See you in the next video and until then, keep smiling. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet and don't forget to click the notification button. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a great day.